What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here with my homegirl, Sadistic. But I don't know what she's going to do. Yeah, see. This guy right here is named Mark Orsterman. He's a police officer down in Florida. Florida. Hey. He is best friends with George Zimmerman. And the fucked up thing about this motherfucker is he's police. Hey. And he selected the gun for George Zimmerman to shoot Trayvon Martin with. He selected a gun for him. He said, carry this gun on you always. He said he was proud of him for defending. He said, this, this motherfucker Mark Oyster said he was proud of Zimmerman for defending himself. He was proud of him killing the damn kid. And he's trying to he's trying to cover up for him. He wrote it him and his wife wrote a book called My Best Friend's Name My Best Friend I'm Best Friends with George Zimmerman. Some shit like that. He wrote it him and his wife wrote a book and making good money off of it. He's proud that his friend George Zimmerman killed a damn child. <coughs> Uh, like, like, I'm gonna say this. I'm straight off the bat, man. I'm straight this straight off the bat. He went on national TV on Dr. Phil show, saying, "Yeah, I'm glad he killed a kid. I'm proud that he did it." On national TV, he said that. Why ain't nobody fired this guy off the force? Why ain't the family? Like, if he selected the gun. For Zimmerman to have in his possession, shouldn't he be accounted for selecting the gun for this man? Yeah. Because the gun that Zimmer that this man picked out for Zimmerman, he said, oh, because it was cheaper in his price range. He said the reason why he got picked the gun is because the gun didn't have a safety on it. What? Yeah. I don't know that. All guns supposed to have safeties on it. And I guarantee you, Zimmerman uh, didn't get legally registered either. No, he got arrested. It was his gun. But it's like this. Like, because one thing, is I was talking to people about this, about about this whole shit, and I kind of wonder, it's like, kind of wonder, it's like, uh, why would this man back him up on killing a kid? Thinking that's the shit, right? I now. wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't black pants and after my ass. Yeah, yeah, and he's he all mad. He what he say? He he said that he hid Zimmerman and his wife in his house, protecting him, and he's the first one that woke. Say somebody come knocking at my door, I shoot him. Okay, you can go to you can go to jail too, and lose your fucking job, you stupid ass motherfucker. Don't eat me, bastard. I hope you and your, I hope you and your fucking wife and your fucking kids burn the hell you piece of shit. I would I dare for some. No fuck that shit, man. Let a damn, <laughs> let somebody kill his child and, and see what happens. That's bullshit. All that, all that little poor boy did was want to drink some tea and taste rainbow. Yeah, he was eating up some candy. He went to the store, and everybody seen the tape of him at the store. Where was the gun? Where was the weapon on him? Where was the weapon on Trayvon? Skittles. Skittles and fucking iced tea. Take that, Zimmerman. Taste the rainbow, bitch. Yeah. So how he? So what he was gonna use as a weapon? Magic powers. Yeah. And, and uh, and and it's fucked up though. He he said he's proud. Like one thing is he said always. Oh, like I said before, he said he's proud of Zimmerman for taking up, standing up for himself. But he's feeling. Probably me. But he say he feels sorry that the boy had to die. Oh, he had to die, huh? Yeah. He had to die. Like, okay, motherfucker, Mr. Popo, Mr. fucking police officer. He, Zimmerman's a racist bastard. That yeah. hates black people. So he shot an innocent child. For no reason. Yeah. Point blank. Point blank range. And this, and, and this fucking pig... This oinker, this popo, oh. this dick in the booty is it's supporting Coffee me. Coffee drinking, donut, donut eating, dunk. fat, fucking bastard. Well, I, you know what? I, you know what? You know where he was probably. 
You know what, Mark? A, I bet he's a pedophile. Mark Oysterman? I don't know. He's married and got two kids. I don't know. He might be. I don't know. <laughs> Mark Oysterman was probably at Dunkin' Donuts while his friend was shooting up kids. Probably. I, like, for real. Let shit like that happen to his kids. His kids walk to the store and come he back. He black people. No. No, for he real. Does. Let's let his children walk to the store and get some candy and something to drink and walk and come home dead. I bet he'd be all over whoever killed his kids. Then he gets mad about Black Panthers got a bounty on his on Zerman's head. Motherfucker Well, you live in a southern state. A black person a black child got killed. What do you think is gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. What you think? That's it happens. Didn't you? Didn't you realize that shit when Genesis six went down? Oh, he's gonna run to the KKK. Yeah. Help me! Help me! I, I'm telling you, man. You gonna support a man to kill the kid? You think it's all cool that he defended? That he killed? He said he defended. How are you gonna defend this boy? How is? How are you gonna? How you gonna defend your? How, you, how would any person gonna defend himself if the person? I would be embarrassed if he was my friend. Hell yeah, I would have cut my fucking. Lo- hey man, peace out, man. I hope you get the lecture. I ain't trying to get caught up. That's what I would have did, man. I would have pushed myself far away from that person. I want. Oh yeah, I, I wrote a book about him. He's a nice kind. He's not racist. I picked the gun out for him. That was a dead giveaway. That's a dead fucking giveaway. <laughs> wow. He was so worried about his safety. He would have manned up and got his own fucking gun instead of crying to a fucking pig. No, no, but the funny thing about it, don't no, no, the fucked up thing about it is the police officer gave him the gun. No, the police officer not gave him the gun, but picked out the gun for him to use. Oh, how sweet. Now, he's the officer of the law, and he knows. Oh, cops, they can't get away with anything. No, no. He's an officer of the law, this Mark Orsterman. He's an officer of the law. Why didn't this motherfucker step in and say, do not carry your gun when you are on your watch. Just carry your cell phone. You do not tell a person to carry a gun on him at all times. You do not. You're an officer of the law. You just signed that kid's death certificate. That means maybe he already knew about it. Yeah, uh, probably so. He is like like Doctor Phil said. Always say he is just as guilty as the person who did it. You picked out the gun for him. You told him to carry it all the time. You sit up there and say you proud of him for defending that he defended himself. And why the hell ain't he being prosecuted along with him? That's what I want to know. All right. So why the hell would he being prosecuted beside Zimmerman? Yeah. He gave the gun. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, and he hid Zimmerman in his house. Yep, that's another offense. He hid the man in his house. Come on, man. Why ain't nobody... I'm with Sadistic on that one, man. Why didn't nobody put this officer in jail if he was doing all this shit? He's accessory to murder. He picked out the gun. He told him to carry it all the time. He's proud of the man that he did and he hit him in this house. You motherfucker, you're an accessory, dude. You may as well get the uh, swastika tattooed on his forehead. Yeah, Charles Manson. Like, for real. You just went on Dr. Phil with your wife. Outed yourself. Yeah, outed yourself. Saying that you picked the gun out. Don't care all the time hitting him in your house, and he wrote a book about it. Fuck oh, out, bitch. Now you just outed yourself to millions of people on TV. Man, he was bad as my stalker. Hell yeah. And, and and you know what though? Why? Like if I was Trayvon's Martin family, and I saw that shit. First. Oh, dude. I'll put one of them Goldstein motherfuckers. Uh, what was it? Them Goldsteins that sued OJ and got all that money even when he wrote uh, that book. Yeah. I'll do like, I'm a, I am I would have did what they did. Just sue him got all his money. 
thought it because one thing is I found this MySpace page and I think y'all I think y'all need to go to his you mean page. Facebook? Yeah, his Facebook. <laughs> go to I'm slipping. Go to his Facebook. It's okay. I don't think he will use his MySpace anymore. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm gonna give the link to his Facebook and y'all can go over there and tell him out because I don't think <laughs> I don't think a man that wears a badge supports somebody that killed an innocent kid with no gun. I, I don't see how he can live with himself being proud of a man that committed murder by if killing him. If I was him, I would not leave the house. And you yeah. don't know when you're going to come across Black Panther. Yeah. And this dude apparently thinks that shooting people is the only way to solve your problems. Yeah. Well, buddy, you see, it looks like you got more problems than just such yeah. a gangbang. Yeah, because one thing is, the kid did not have a weapon. He had candy and a drink. Mm -mm -mm. Skittles and cheese. What a good combination. Yeah. And and he's telling them, like, he's been arrested for resisting arrest. He's fought with a police officer. He, he's got a restraint. Zimmerman had all these cr shit against him, fighting with a uh, cop. Uh, resisting arrest, or straining on, or slapped on him from an ex-fiance, all these that, and you still gonna be friends with this man? When did, like, when do you draw the line? And that, I think, guarantee that boy, that little boy, well, y'all little boy, but that kid, did not have one single criminal record. No, he didn't. He got kicked out of school. Yeah, and he got suspended from school. That's it. Yeah, he got suspended from school. Yeah, and then he got he got kicked out of school. He got suspended from school. That's it. Oh, what did he do? Uh, I think he was fighting. Oh, yeah. So it's like he was fighting and disrespecting the teacher, and they thought that he had weed on him, and all he had was a bag to smell like weed. Oh, so he got suspended. Now he ain't break the law. Kid. Maybe he was a drug dealer, a weed dealer, and uh, then like got pissed off and shot him. I don't think so, man. Cause I Mm -hmm. That'd be kind of funny if Zimmerick drives up to school and shoots him in the chest in school. That's fucked up. Chase Razor, baby. Yeah, no, nah, but I'm afraid that I don't see how in the hell this man can sit there and live his life. Live like that where... Because he wants his 15 minutes of fame. Yeah, writing a, writing a book with your wife. Say Selling yeah. out his friend with the murderer. Yeah, oh, he's not a murderer. I mean, come on, at least O.J. Uh, O.J. Simpson, Allen, or not Allen himself, but uh, sold himself up and write that if I did it book. Yeah. Yeah, O.J. did if I did it. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. My memory is not that shitty. Yeah. Well, it can be, but... And I, I remember that came out, oh my god. The gold scenes were fucking pissed. And everybody was like, what the fuck? Yeah, but like I said, man, it's all about... To me, it's all about why would you... Why would you take up for a man like him, man? Because I couldn't live like it. I couldn't live like... Apparently he can. He's trying to his soul. Because one thing, that is unnecessary to sit up there... Uh, Oh, I love this person. I love it. I love it. Supporting a man to kill the kid. You don't support somebody to kill somebody. It's like marrying someone to murder. It's like marrying. It's like knowing that this guy's a pedo. It's like a woman knowing that her, the guy she's about to marry is a pedophile and still marries okay. the guy and still lets him rape kids. Yeah, like my cousin's uh, grandmother who has. Like, for real, man, an officer of the law telling him, oh, yeah, I'm proud that you killed the kid. Cold blood on him. Hey, it's throw a party. Get her done. <laughs> I bet he's got a pillow. I, I, I bet he's got, like, one of them pillows that's on the couch that says, killed another nigger. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't just say that, did you? Uh, yeah, because cause one thing is, it makes no sense for this guy to sit there and talk down to a kid did not deserve to die. I bet he does got something that says, Kill, I killed another nigger. Him and John and Son, too, if I was with AK, just bad boy, get down. Yeah. Should, um, look up. Yeah, because there is no way in hell where some, uh, I just don't get these people. Like, why would you take a, like, hey, for real, why did this man come out now? He 
said, I like when he what this he what this what Zimmerman well, he, he said he talked to Zimmerman at the day of the the, the incident. He says I didn't he ain't had no other other way out. Like for for real though, I asked this question when the first damn thing when the first story broke out. Why would a kid want to f- go after a man that's got a gun? That's one thing, and that, and ain't nobody question, ain't nobody using that question. Ain't nobody brought it up. Ain't nobody <coughs> sit there and went to the Trayvon Martin march or whatever the little gathering and ask that question. Why would Trayvon attack a man with a gun? That's the main question nobody ever asked. All they ask, well, all they sit up and say, he did not deserve to do that. He did not deserve to die like that. Motherfucker, why ain't you ask that question? Why ain't you ask that main question I just asked? It's like, why would, why would, why would Trayvon attack a man with a gun? If I seen the man with a gun, do you think I'm going to attack the man? No. I'm going to walk away and mind my damn business. Now he's he's been say he said he talked to Zimmerman the day the shit happened, and he tell him I had to do it I had to do it do do what kill an innocent kid because you think that's the best thing to do. I wonder why like Friday tomorrow well today's Friday whatever. Well, his parents are gonna be on Doctor Phil. His stepmother was already on Doctor Phil Tuesday. I'm sorry it took so long to do it, but. But I say it like this, man. If you're like, like for real, man, like I'm for real. Why is this man still wearing a badge and wearing and having a gun if he supported Zimmerman shooting an innocent kid and he was the one that selected the gun for Zimmerman? And he was hiding Zimmerman and his wife in his house. Why is he not locked up? Why is he not arrested? Why is he not getting prosecuted just like Zimmerman? Because he broke the law just as well by, what's that word? Damn. By, by hiding him in his house, giving him a gun, say, buy this, carry it on your all time. You might as well put the gun in his hand and say, go kill Trayvon. The blood is on your hands too. He's just as guilty as Zimmerman, man. I would never, like for real, man, I would never write a book with my wife and say, hey, yeah, I'm best friend with Zimmerman. He's a good man. I did not know a man that likes to kill innocent black kids was a good thing to be proud of. That was... What is the man? And 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 the funny thing about it, he's proud that Zimmerman defended himself, but he's t- but he's upset. Oh, I'm sorry that you died. I had to die. No, you're not. If you're proud of him killing an innocent kid, but I like I said, man, he is just as guilty as, as Zimmerman. Just as guilty. Him and his motherfucking wife. He said, if he knew Zimmerman so well, he knew he had money. If he knew Zimmerman so well, he knew about that website going up so he can get money for his damn defense uh, a defense attorney. He knew about that shit. He knew about the money. He knew. See, that is fuck. He knew all this shit about Zim, Zimmerman and did not even come forward to say anything. He held information. He. I, I'm telling you, man, this is bullshit, man, how these kids died. And this fucker is an officer of the law. Protect and serve my ass. Your job is to protect and serve. That means if a child gets shot, that means lock that motherfucker up. Your job is to slap the handcuffs on Zimmerman and say, motherfucker, you go ride the lightning. 
Your job is not oh buddy, I'm gonna get you out of jail. I'm proud that you killed this nigger. That doesn't work in your line of work. Don't hey, remember Rodney King? They beat him up. Yeah, you was just yeah, you was just as worse as them fucking cops that whipped the shit out of Rodney King. Just as worse. Right, God rest his soul. Yeah. R.I.P. Baby. Yeah. 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 You was just as guilty as them. I don't see. I, like I said, I'm gonna I'm put the link. To his Facebook in the in the box in the description, y'all go down and cuss his cuss his damn dog racist ass. Ass dog him out, dog the shit out of here. He got pictures, though he got that lock up picture of his family. Dog his ass out, man. I asked this question to Mr. Mark Orsterman. If your kid, yeah, if your child left the house and walked to the store to get some candy and something to drink and somebody and as they walked back somebody shot them and said the I same I would have chased after them and fucking blew their fucking yeah. head off yeah you would I'm, I'm a mother yeah you would anyone hurts my child they will save your surprise I don't care if I go to prison or not you would have did the same thing you would have said you would have sat there and been pissed off just like the Martin family you I'm telling you man y'all could not support People are ignorant today. Yeah, because, like I said, man, and it's sad. His girlfriend, Trayvon's girlfriend, heard everything has ha happened over the phone. And he think, he's sitting up there, oh, this what the dispatch, da 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 da. Seems to me he's trying to say his girlfriend was like, motherfucker, she was on the line with him. She heard everything. The reason why the girl didn't come out of Woolworths is because she didn't want to get hurt. He looks like life getting me. Yeah, this motherfucker's a motherfucker. I'm telling you, man, I bet he does wear a bed sheet and pillowcase. So is his wife. Ooh. Yeah, man, it's, I bet his kids wear it too. Come on. <laughs> come on, kids. We're going to the meeting. Yeah, the hell. Yeah, the meeting. We have good. We got Uncle Zimmerman coming with us. Come on, Uncle Zimmerman. Don't forget to have a good down in his, uh... Yeah. It's about time we have bring the dinner with the nose. Yeah. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. You know. Oh, I forgot they don't like black people. Never mind. Yeah. They don't like black folks. Racist asshole. Uh. <sighs> what a damn shame. People yeah. just killing for no damn reason. Yeah, and he gets confronted by Trayvon Martin's stepmother. Ooh. Yeah, she confronts him on the show on on uh, Doctor Phil, and she questions and say, "How can you be proud of him doing this?" What did he, What was his response? He said he's not proud of him dying. But he's proud of shooting. That's even that's just like, insane. See. Like I said, man, if you're the, like, you should have, he should have distanced himself, man, because, you know, like I said, you like you said, he outed himself on national TV. Did he threaten to kill him if he didn't, like, uh... No, he said, no, he said, if people come knocking at my door, I'm going to shoot him. Go to jail, and you be, you go to, go to prison, too. You be a fuck buddy to your buddy. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> George Zimmerman and Mark O. Orsterman can be fuck buddies in prison. I'm ready for this motherfucker to shoot an innocent person so he can go to prison. He's a robot. That's yeah. all fucking authorities are. Fuck the police. And his wife is not helping. <laughs> his wife, this Orster dude, this Orsterman. His wife is not hap helping much. She's making him look more guilty now. She's making herself look guilty. Yeah, I see a dead white man. in the future. I see a dumb wife. And she's hurting. She's she's stuck more than dumb. She's retarded. Uh, I'm telling you, man, I ain't never thought, man, to see the day where 
an officer of the law would defend a murderer. I'm talking about for real, you will actually defend a man that actually killed an innocent man innocent child it a fact. Doesn't matter if doesn't matter if you're your friend or not, the law is the law, man. Where's the fucking justice? Does it? If I was his parents, I would be so ashamed and embarrassed. It, like everybody said, it like, was it when it first came when it first came out the story break. A bunch of black folks went down to the damn police station and got up in the damn chief of police face and started yelling at the chief of police saying, "Why did he get out the car? If he would have stayed his ass in the car, this would never would have happened." Then they went to the like down the police the 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 the, the the, the, the police that was behind the uh, working the board to get the receiving calls mm -hmm. told them not they used that very good said, it says the officer said do not pursue him do not follow him that's okay we don't need you to follow him he follow him why ain't you listen to the cops mm. I'm for real man this, this is bullshit this is bullshit that the, the, this man and his wife Defending a murder to kill the child. How about him come up in your house and kill your children? I bet you be buddy buddy ready to be. Oh, come on, it's barbecue, motherfucker. We hate niggers too. We hate our own fucking kids. Not me. I ain't. I ain't. No, I. I just hate dumb fuckers, man. I hate. I'm. I, I'm. Don't call me. I like. I'm not a racist because sadistic is a white woman. But it's like this, man. I cannot, I cannot believe that this man is proud of Zimmerman killing, some, killing an innocent child, and he supports him. In white that. people are stupid. Not all white people, but some white people are stupid. The majority are. Stupid. Yeah. And he's one of them people that are stupid. He thinks every young black child should be shot and killed. Because he thinks they're posed as a threat. Threat to what? To what? Yeah, it has no threat to society. He, the boy died because he had a bag of Skittles and some something to drink. Doing what he loved, eating it, eating Skittles and drinking a nice old glass of beer. Yeah, where, where's the, where's the harm in that shit? Nowhere. He was, like I said, I'm gonna post his uh, Facebook page in the link, in the description box, so y'all can go over there and dog his bitch ass out. I'm for real. We're gonna write a book and support Zimmerman, and he glad that he killed that boy. That's bullshit on the stick, man. For it's bullshit. I couldn't. Lie. I'm telling you, man, how, how, why would you? I why would know. Any, why would anybody love this shit, man? Oh, I think it's. He's probably having trouble with that shitty pussy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I just think about that stupid commercial. Yeah. Oh, no, but. Yeah, Yeah, but you ain't got any last words to say, Miss Sadistic? Nope. Nope. I'm flat out of words. <laughs> All I gotta say is, man, this man should be in jail just as well as Zimmerman he is. Because Zimmerman lied about him getting beat because one thing is this kid would not fight a man with a gun. I knew I wouldn't. Ain't no child gonna sit there if you if you point a gun at somebody's face. Do you think that person's gonna sit up there? And, no way. I'm starting to think. Think about it. since he since he talked to Zimmer about that whole incident that happened that night. I think he's the one to put the marks on that put the marks on him. Think it. No. Think about it. 
he outed himself on national TV saying that Zim, he talked to Zimmerman the day, the night that it, the incident happened. He shot Trayvon, Zimmerman shot Trayvon in the chest. He's dead. What's that? How can, why would Trayvon attack a man with a gun? Think about, think about him. He called this man, or Orstrom. Maybe Zimmerman was his hit man. He must sure, they cough what he was his job yeah. or have fingerprints all the way. Thank you, Cohen, though, for all the years. Yeah, man, but that's how it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, man, I'll put the shit in the link. I'll put the link in the description box. You tell me what you think. And get her done. And get her done. I, I hope y'all can go to his channel, go to his Facebook page and just start talking all that mad shit. I will. Don't wish no death threats on a man because I don't want to be accountable for that shit. Well, Afro Joe said, no, 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 don't punch your fucking fingers at me, man. Afro Joe did not say make a death threat to him. I ain't telling y'all that. I ain't telling y'all to go over there and do something stupid and put him in harm's way. Then all that shit gets pointed just at Just basically me. call him a dumbass. Yeah, tell just tell it like, know. just go over there and tell it like it is to this guy. Just don't sit up there and say, oh, you're a mother. Get a non violent way. Yeah, but. We do not condone violence. Yeah. All he's saying is, is all, he's, all he said was an example. It's like if something happened, his, if his child got shot like Trayvon did, he would act like the Martin family and lose his damn mind and want justice. And I ain't mean, for real though, you're an off like I said, you're an officer of the law and you're taking up for a murder. It's like you taking up for a rapist. It's like you taking up for a pedophile. It's like you taking up for a thief, a bank robber. Now he might as well take up for James Holmes. Yeah. Might as well take up. He might as well be James Holmes' best buddy. His fuck buddy. You. This man didn't even think about the, the consequences of his action by going on Dr. Fear Show. He really didn't. You. He didn't. He don't know the pain that these people have after losing their child. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he don't. He's a diggity booty ass. Roll with the KYJ. Look at that. Look at that. Do your thing. Do your thing. But I'm telling you like this, man. The truth is the truth. The facts are the facts. Motherfucker, you outed yourself. The truth isn't the truth. 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 The truth isn't the truth.
Like I said, follow me on Twitter at Fajoda Wiki, and I will put my Tumblr in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, Celo Junior Two, Celo Junior Three. Like I said, I'll put the link to his Facebook in the in the description box. Peace, love, and so. Yeah, Okay. Peace.